And for the second time in a matter of days, a woman selling churros in a subway station detained by New York cops. And these two cases sparking anger and now questions about why. The latest vendor busted this afternoon at the Myrtle Avenue station for not having a license. The first case seen in now viral video today. She is speaking out as supporters rally around her. Is there a kind of churro crackdown in the New York subways? I was reporter Tim Fleischer with the story. He's live in Bushwick. Tim. And this rally held earlier today was not only in support of that one vendor who was detained by police, but it's also in support of allowing these vendors to get licenses. It feels very nervous, very stressed, and absolutely devastated. Emotional at times, Elsa, we only know her first name, reveals her encounter with police as they confiscated the churros she was selling at the Broadway Junction subway station and issued a summons. And at that point, he forcibly tried to remove the car from, cart from her, and she said, please don't do that, and he removed it anyway. Much of the encounter with police officers Friday night was caught on this video by subway rider Sophia Newman. You're literally doing this right now? Are you kidding me? She's just trying to sell some stuff. Elsa says she has been selling the favorite pastry for the last three years, and police say she has been issued summonses 10 previous times. This time, they confiscated her cart and the churros. They took absolutely everything away from her. She left crying and broken. And MTA an Transit President right Andy subway. Byford. So, uh, working with New York Police Department, we're trying to get the balance right between uh, living, uh, letting people uh, get a living, uh, but also in providing a safe, clean environment for our customers and a hassle-free journey for our customers. The mayor had also seen the video of Elsa and the police. We've got to work towards a day where we, we really engage the community in general to also be clear to members of the community that that's not an acceptable behavior, so it never comes down to a situation like that. At the subway station, protesters rallied in support of transit improvements and lifting a city cap on vendor licenses. We need the vendors to be able to work legally where they can work. Put more trains out here. Invest in the system that would get vendors the license that they need, Mayor de Blasio and City Council. That's what we need so that folks can feel safe within our transit system. calls for the raising of that vendor license.